Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're going to be doing a ton of powder mining, an absolute ton. Um, yeah, we have to grind this out. I want to reach 2 million gemstone power today, which is at least halfway to our goals so that we can actually start like mining for a little bit of money before like we can actually do some more powder mining after that but either way today we'll be reaching the halfway mark as well as a bunch of other stuff that we are upgrading in our kind of mining setup and all that so i'm really excited for this one hopefully you guys are as well if this is your first time here and you happen to not yet be subscribed please consider doing so it'll only take you a second and you can change your mind at absolutely any time but without further ado let's jump right into today's episode sexy chest rebel charm reflector another prehistoric egg uh i don't really need the prehistoric egg obviously but uh i've been saving them up in here because why not but i do want the robo charm reflector lucky me literally back to back double powder events that's actually kind of huge so yeah i'm gonna be grinding this out again i didn't get a crazy amount of powder from the last uh 10 minutes but to be fair it took me a long long time to make my way over to the uh precursor remnants i got lost along the way from when i spawned to this lobby so Kind of had to do a little bit of a blues clues of where the hell I actually was. But we made it here and now we have another double powder right afterwards. So I'm going to grind this out. Hopefully we get some legendary uh, gemstone powder like pieces and uh, you know we can make it pretty far. But right now I'm sitting at 47k. We'll see what I'm sitting at at the end of this double powder. So yeah, I'm going to grind this out and uh, I will be right back right after this chest as you guys are aware i do all my powder mining in the precursor city slash remnants biome mainly because you can get robot parts one thing i don't understand about getting robot parts is who like did the percentage chance for each one because i swear it's not even i i get so many more of certain like robot parts than others it's just so unbalanced and i believe that's with everyone i think everyone has that one robot part that they just seem to never get like for me i find that that was either robotron reflectors and recently it switched to control switches but look how many synthetic cards i have i have 28 and, and then i have 12 of this that's more than double i just don't understand the logic i, I don't know how like the drop how it would even work like that so that it becomes so imbalanced like that if these all are truly the same drop chance but then again i'm looking at the prices of these here and actually robotron reflectors are going for 400k and all these other ones way less Super light motor, motor and electron transmitter being uh, the lowest. So apparently those ones people are seeing quite a bit. But I have so many of, of like the synthetic cards. I have a bunch of like electron transmitters and FTX 3070s. I've been getting a lot of Robotron reflectors recently, which uh, I definitely cannot complain about because that was truly my one that I just could never get my hands on. So I don't know what the drop chances of these things, but either way, oh, that is a gorgeous beautiful oh my goodness the only sad thing uh it was not double powder but it's fine we're up to a hundred thousand gemstone powder again which means it's time to uh dump some of this in and i think i'm going powder buff to 30 30 powder buff gain 30 percent more mithril powder and gemstone powder that's actually really good i'm slowing down on mole a bit because i find that i'm over procking it or at least uh, i've had some people tell me that like uh hs fearless was telling me like try and keep mole at around 50 or 60 and then go into it later so it makes me almost want to reset my tree but i think i'm gonna leave this at like 86 maybe i'll even get up to 90 because honestly i'm a little ocd and seeing 86 kind of bothers me but either way i think i'm gonna save up my powder here i'm at 42k i'm gonna save that towards powder buff in terms of my mithril powder here i'm really struggling to know what to do with it um i'm not really sure what to dump it into i have 74k here uh maybe another five into season my man honestly that's kind of all i can really think of as being somewhat useful maybe like i'll even throw that up to 61 why not i think that's kind of what i'm gonna be upgrading right now because these other ones i do not need at the moment past what they're on so you love to see that but either way we're getting close to 2 million of each type of powder which is actually really really good almost the halfway mark before a decent money making method for uh gemstones at least but uh yeah still a long way to go in terms of mithril powder i believe i need like 14 mil or something which is just like for max, which is um, just way too much. So I'm going to keep mine away. Got a lot more powder to get my hands on. Some more robot parts as well. 
And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep grinding this out and I'll cut back uh, if anything crazy happens. But that's the problem with powder mining. You don't see something crazy too, too often. So I get to mining, bro. Like, come on, really? 29 synthetic hearts? Like, uh, what? <laughs> I actually don't get it. I just don't get it. I, there's something though. I think it's the, uh, the fuel tank where I need like 70 though, right? Like the perfectly, perfectly cut gemstone fuel tank uh what is it 70 synthetic cards so maybe this is okay maybe i'm okay with this but still just like bro like how many synthetic cards are you gonna give me it's actually ridiculous really great thing though about the crystal hollows that uh i kind of found annoying but once you like kind of sort out your mining speed to be above 2000 so that you insta break nearly like or everything like i insta break all these ores and stuff is all the ores that you get like it actually adds up a ton i have so much enchanted coal i'll show you guys in a second I have another 20k here to uh, compact really quickly and I'll show you guys my enchanted mining sack because I don't think I've emptied it like while I've been doing this but or I think I've emptied it a couple times but still there's 4,393 enchanted coal in here which is an absolute ton and this is literally all just from mining here in the crystal hollows where like ores isn't really what you're aiming for but like just the pure amount really really adds up so I i've been like almost going for the ores as well like as i go past because it, it truly does just all add up together and like those extra resources especially on iron man like if you're on a regular profile you're kind of like okay well now i have all this coal for no reason and it doesn't really sell for that much so it's kind of whatever but i don't know still really nice on iron man also this chest is beautiful super light motor and the electron transmitter happily gonna take those but yeah i think that's a really amazing thing and then also obviously than getting a literal ton of hardstone, uh, like naturally, because that's all I'm mining uh, for the most part, besides all these ores. But yeah, it's definitely adding up. I have a lot of uh, hardstone. Now, actually, we'll take a little a look at in a, a little bit here, but I'm gonna keep mining here. I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit more powder. I really wanna get my powder buff up even higher than 30. So that's kind of my goal for tonight. But uh, yeah, gonna get back to mining here. I've never had this, but I'm too close to the spawn. I literally can't even get this chest. It won't let me break this block. Oh my goodness. I can't see the particles. What is that chest? That is disgusting. I'm like scanning, I'm scanning. Uh, I think the particles are there. I just can't see them. I think I have to give up on this chest. This is heartbreaking. I've never seen a chest like that. That is actually ridiculous. Wait, if I just go like this, maybe? No? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do about this. I think I have to give up on this chest. That's a little sad. Nothing I can really do here at all. Like what? What? Do I, it's so sad. Uh, I, sh I think I should just get used to it now at this point. Um, 30 synthetic hearts. 40 more to go for that fuel tank, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what to say about seeing that many synthetic hearts. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, which robot part is the one that you just seem to find absolutely everywhere like the one that you by far have gotten the most of i'm really curious if like all of us have just gotten a ton of synthetic cards or if people have like different ones that they just seem to be getting a ton and which ones you guys haven't been getting i'm, I'm actually really really curious so i'm gonna be reading through that uh later today or well i guess when you guys see this video so yeah please comment down below i'm, I'm genuinely genuinely curious because I'm, I'm wondering if i have a synthetic heart curse or like if everyone does or like what's going on with that so please let me know in the comments down below also i'm struggling to open up this chest right now there we go i don't know how this lobby isn't closed yet it's on day seven i came in here on day three and i've uh i've definitely put some work into this lobby to say the least basically in any which direction that you go oh there's, we have a newcomer this guy just <laughs> joined the mix on day seven good good choice buddy but yeah this map is um it's looking pretty <laughs> destroyed i'm gonna be honest the precursor city has lost a layer about too tall nearly all the way across so yeah definitely been putting in work um as you can see but uh yeah the grind has definitely been continuing and i have a bunch more hardstone to compact as per usual always i swear this thing's always filling up i've been debating actually crafting some more mining sacks because it's coal first off to craft them and i have like a ton of coal all the time so it wouldn't be too resource heavy and then also i would just be able to kind of go longer between having to compact stuff uh, for my inventory, which is always nice. But then another thing, I'm up to 33 synthetic hearts, uh, which is sickening. I've gotten three more and uh, I haven't gotten three more of any of the others. I'll tell you that much right now. So that's a little bit sad. But then also I'm back up to 78,000 gemstone powder. So we can actually invest into powder buff yet again. And that actually puts us 40K or 39K XP off of two million gemstone powder, which is amazing. And I'm back up to 40K mithril as well. 
So once again, season my man, gonna get some love up to level 63. So there we go. And the, the grind continues until this lobby closes, I guess. And there goes the lobby. It's about time. I genuinely think this thing was about to tick over the day eight. So the fact that it was even still up is kind of ridiculous. Can I get this chest in time? Please don't lag for me. Please just clean ticks. That was very clean ticks. You'll love to see it. So there we go. We got another chest, but really good lobby. You got a couple of uh, double powders and uh, a bunch of synthetic hearts, which uh, you know me, I, I need those, right? So kind of helpful there. There's no way I can get this chest, right? I don't think I can. Oh my God, I actually can. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm way too clean with it. But uh, also I don't know why this lobby isn't closing. Anyways, this lobby's closing. So yeah, um, yeah, there we go. I was, I was happy with what we got done in that lobby though, so you'll love to see it. Before I'm done for the night, because it is about 2 a.m. the day before you guys see this video, 2.31 actually. So uh, yeah, just doing my daily commissions. My last one I'm handing in here is Sapphire Crystal Hunter. I kind of like getting all four done and I go looking for a double powder lobby just so I can take advantage of like all the possible powder. That's kind of the way I do it. Or if I'm in a double powder lobby and I haven't really found a good spot to powder mine, I also then might just run around and change out a couple commissions but the, these aren't hard ones and i do want to start doing some more crystal nucleus especially considering we have all this saved up so definitely something we're going to be grinding out soon but there we go all four commissions saved up now i just need a lobby hop until i find a double powder so it's the next morning i seriously looked for like a double powder last night for uh i wish i was joking probably over half an hour and i was not able to come across a single thing until now i found a new lobby is the next day and uh, there's a double powder active. So I can take my commissions and we can hand these bad boys in. And uh, just like that, from doing our four commissions, we just got 32,000 gemstone powder for free. So now I'm sitting at 61K saved up here. And uh, we only need 39K to actually be have enough for 2 million gemstone powder. So I'm not going to spend this because I'm going to save up for 72K uh, gemstone powder for that upgrade there. But we're now sitting at over 2 million gemstone powder. Like that power is not going anywhere. So that is uh, kind of amazing. That is the halfway mark to our big goals and dreams so that we can actually like properly make some money while mining. So really, really happy to see that. And uh, yeah, we continue on to future days. But oh yeah, they changed all the colors and stuff. That looks kind of sick. The new update just rolled. They'll pro I'll probably do a video about some of the changes tomorrow. So I believe that is going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did end up enjoying it. We have a bit of a wonky one tomorrow. So definitely make sure you turn on post notifications and sub if you're new around here. Because tomorrow's video, we go over like the new patch notes that literally just dropped at the time recording this. And holy hell, is it an absolute game changer? And like, there's so much wrong and so much good. It's, it's really weird. So make sure you tune into tomorrow's video. Hopefully you guys did end up enjoying this one. If you did, make sure you like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Make sure you check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. All those links can be found in the description down below. And check out my cult members, Twinkle Plays. You can leave a link to their channel. I believe that's all my plugs out of the way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.